What's up everybody? It's another football video. It's currently the Friday day, so that means I'm going to practice this evening for you guys. It'll be at the end of the video. Chapters are going to be placed downstairs. First, I'm a middle linebacker for the Hilversum Hurricanes. I'm going to practice. That's in. I live in Amsterdam. That's in the Netherlands in Europe, which is a continent, not a country. And <laughs> Not getting into that one. Seen a lot on TikTok about dumb Americans, but anyways, that's a different thing. So, every time one of these videos, I used to do an explanation of like a topic around football, but now our practices are coming back up. And that was at the end of the video because now I do practices and I might talk about stuff. Maybe I learn something a little different at practice or reflecting on things. Things you can learn that aren't watching drills. Those will be coming in the future. Our gyms have recently opened up here in the Netherlands. So you'll see some exercises and I'll probably record them throughout the week as I regular vlog every day. Um, so there might be a compilation video from multiple times when I go to the gym and do exercises <laughs> or drills against mats and stuff. Anyways, starting out, I always answer comments football related to previous videos. Uh, this goes back all the videos because YouTube Studio is amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, first football practice of the year was on May 10th video. How old are you? I'm 39. You can go see that on my TikTok. Also, I think I put it on my Instagram Reels, too. Um, for those of you that really, really want to know. Uh, footwork is fire on my ladder drills for football players. Um, certainly glad that perhaps an actual, like, American football player is watching that video, rather than a soccer player. <laughs> To be fair, they still work. It's just ladder drills. There's nothing very specific. I mean, everybody still runs to an extent. It's just that in soccer, you guys run for a long period of time. In minutes. <laughs> um, whereas in American football, we run for uh, seven seconds. Ten tops. <laughs> I mean, kickoffs are weird, but that's usually a, that's a special team. But yes, I did actually... It was a really good video. You can link up to that one if you're new here and you want some footwork drills. Um, I swear to God, my coaches watch that video and are now starting to do it. They're like, okay, do these things. I'm like, this seems familiar. Now do it backwards. I'm like, mm, I didn't do that in the video because I knew I was going to fall over myself. 5-14, May 14th. Mitch McLeod says, builds character. Yeah, that's the uh, excessive amounts of rain and thunder and lightning when we had it cut practice early a little bit. Um, I was just soaked. <laughs> um, she Chicken J um, may have uh, thanks man I'm going into high school because of the whole COVID thing I haven't been able to play in two years understandable we were I was going into the 2020 season in September 2019 we did a bunch of practices we did games we went to Groningen we did this we went to camp over near the German border we went over and we played a German team all that stuff had two games had an Utrecht, a Utrecht game and a Rotterdam game, and then Corona hit. Then we started getting back to somewhat practices in like August. So March to August, there was like nothing. <laughs> and then August, September, October, and we had one like, weird game against a Belgian team, the Isachem Tribes. Um, that was weird. Most, it was just something fun to do. It didn't count towards anything. We did actually have our season somewhat scheduled, but then October came and that knocked everything off. And now we're here at May. So I haven't, I feel you. I haven't had football in like consistently for two years. It's been kind of on and off. But this is a comment on my gaps and holes video. Um, it's mainly focusing around the line. Um, that's in my football 101 tutorial. If any of you want to get a refresher because you're going into high school, um, and you just haven't for a while. You're like, ah, oh, I don't know any of this stuff. Just watch it. It's designed for the, for, it's designed intentionally for Europeans who don't know much about the sport to explain to them how American football works. So those of you who've already played the sport at least one year or a little bit in your life or watched the NFL, you'll understand what most of that is. But it's always a little refresher. So yeah, there was a comment during my live stream, which I do every Saturday day for the United States. It's evening for me. It's at 6 to 6 p.m. So that would be noon on the East Coast and then 9 a.m. on the West Coast. Something like that. But it's on Saturday, so if you wake up after a game or practice or something and you're wiped out on Saturday morning and you just like, just turn on my live stream, I'll, I'll be there. It's like for three hours because I practice Sunday morning. 
that someone on the live stream was asking about my suit up video from 2016. Not the green one, the white one. They actually asked if I liked the green or the white better, and I said technically the green. And then they, they were just asking a bunch of questions about that video. It seemed weird. I mean, I was happy to answer questions about any video of mine. As long as I have a link and can find it, I'll be able to remember most of it. That was when I was playing a cornerback and I was, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> There's actually a weird story along that line. Um, but anyways, <laughs> if you guys want to join the live streams, like I said, they go for about three hours from, like I said, 6 p.m. Central European time. And then on the Sisu Math Garden Molding Review, which is the first one I ever bought, and I just did a weird video for it. Um, I have one of those. However, my last two teeth aren't covered by the mouth guard. Does this happen? Does anybody have the same problem? Probably because it's from it's an old video, so they probably didn't think that I was still around on YouTube making content. Uh, so I answered it. <laughs> and yes, my mouth guards are out in my backpack. But they don't wrap around the back of my teeth. None of my mouth guards ever have. Um, when I've had the binky style, they don't get impressions. They just sit in here like that, you know, like that. And the ones that are like, the ones that have like the blue gummy stuff that you got to mold and stick on and stuff, they only are to come flat upon the molars. Even the Sisu don't completely wrap around the backside, which is fine. They're, it's, mouth guards have a very useful purpose, but I don't think many people understand what it's actually for. Um, they are there for your teeth, but they also have an added benefit of concussion protection. Uh, I do not know the science of that one, <laughs> but I've heard the rumors around the football circles in the States and here that from medics and stuff that there's, it's not necessarily, but like, if you have something, that's why the squeegee ones are okay, because when you come in, you, your teeth come together and they don't clack and you don't crack your teeth. And it doesn't send shockwaves up in your head and possibly, you know, give you a concussion. Little C. Harrison Schroeden. That's what they call it here. Brain shaking. <laughs> Harrison brain Schroeden <laughs> shaking. Okay, moving on to some news here. Okay, I'm going to continue shouting these guys out because um, there's getting to be a lot of news as leagues are starting to spike up and stuff. And I just can't tell you every team all the time. It was great when it was just like Spain and Austria. Now it's like Italy and Germany is going to be striking up with two different leagues. Three, I think. The GFL 2, 1, and the ELF. Oh, they're not only Germany. Yeah, well, there's like six German teams, a Polish and a Spanish team. So, nah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So, that's what's going on with that. Uh, the, the actual Spanish league is over. I don't know how. Imperials Rus. Spanish American Football League. According to Wikipedia, Liga Nacional de Football Americano is the name of the top gridiron league which operates in Spain. Okay, so in the Spanish league from Spain, they had their national championship, the Spain Bowl. <laughs> they, um, the Badalona Drax from Barcelona, uh, they were a much different team than years past, um, and they won the national championship for their most recent season that went on for the past, like, couple months. Um, I was actually kind of rooting for the, uh, <laughs> I was kind of rooting for, uh, Mallorca, just, I don't know why, I just, ah, Mallorca! <laughs> But um, Hungary is starting up. Um, had a Facebook friend who was coaching for them, but <sighs> Corona and the pandemics and the EU rules and the American rules, things have just been that. So a lot of things get announced, a lot of things don't, a lot of people go and do stuff and then they get cut off. It's, it's very strange. I mean, there, there's the normal import politics. But it's been a little worse this time around. I'm a little worried about some of the ELF imports. Um, they're utilizing roughly the same things as the GFL and many other IFAF rules. International Football Americano Fed Federacion of American Football. <laughs> um, we follow those rules too. It's pretty much most everybody's rules, but the NCAA and the NFL and I think the CFL because they do that booting the ball back and forth. <laughs> but yeah, Hungary's starting up on its thing. Now, Italy's going, 
Tai Chi Falcon, Tai Chi Poland, Tai Chi Falcons hold on to and beat the Silesia Rebels. Um, yeah, so there's Poland. Uh, it's just, there's so many games going right now. Saturday, tomorrow, you guys will be able to see. If you go to their thing, they'll be posting. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. But there's like live stream, live stream, live stream, live stream, live stream. You can get live streams of these things. Um, so like if you're up early in the morning <laughs> on a you know, Saturday, or even a, or you're up late on a Sunday, you can probably catch some of these games. Um, by and large, the ones in Austria have English um, announcements, but I wouldn't necessarily hold on to it for, like, Hungary and Spain. Well, Spain's over with, but yeah. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Like I said, there's a lot of ELF news rolling around, but they're about 30 days from starting out. So we're good on that. And I will catch you guys out at practice here in, it's 3.50 right now. That would make practice, going to practice at about 7.30? Yeah, whatever. See you in a couple hours. Okay, so out here at Hilversum, this is a long road. That's a bike path. That's the road. Yeah. I just thought I'd get off at Erasmus Lund. I'm not off at Augustinshof, because... I was going to be the last person on the bus anyways. Might as well just get off and let the bus driver just go Aah! all the way back to the station. Even had a question because of the Paris Conferency um, a while back, if, you know, 27 and older is able to then. And they're like, yeah, no. I was like, hmm, okay. Why am I bringing my gear then? Habit. It's the spirit of it all. Bring my pack, bring my pads. I'd rather take my pads, take them home, then come. And then have everyone like have a weird memo that was like, hey, your pads. And I'm like, fuck. Besides, why not? <laughs> like, I know a bunch of guys that came to semi pro practice without pads. Like, they'd always ask me to do that. Are we gonna do pads today? It's really hot. Are we gonna do pads today? It's really cold. Are we gonna do pads today? And I'm like, motherfucker, this is football. The only reason I'm not in pads right now is because the government has some crazy regulations. You know, like, how poor are you that your car is gonna get less gas mileage? Like, that's not, that, that's, to me, that's like not even a con, that would be the concern. <laughs> Why are you worried about taking your gear in your car? Why, you know, first of all, isn't it still in your car? If so, is it hard to get it down to the car? So, <laughs> anyways, just that club sports life, I guess. The high school, high schoolers in the United States are like, oh, my gear's at the school. And that's probably what a lot of the semi-pro guys in the States are like, oh, I'm already out and about. Do I have to go back home and get my gear? Did you forget practice was today? What? By the way, I know this is not football related, but sometimes I forget that, you know, I have a whole life that happens. <laughs> there was a girl on the train right here, the Intercity. So basically I went from Amsterdam Central to Hilversum Centrum, Sashon. Anyways, no stopping, just like a solid 80 miles an hour, about, it's like 120 kilometers an hour. But anyways, and every time she took a bite of her sandwich, like one of her eyes would half close and her head would bob a little bit. I was like, homegirl is so high. She's exerting a lot of energy just taking a bite of a soggy sandwich from Albert Hein. She could just be tired. Not at six o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> not, <laughs> not dressed like that. <laughs> she's, designed, she's dressed for, a, for an evening out on the town. All right, I got here super early. Uh, Denny's over there waiting for the stuff, I think. Dennis is still in his car. <laughs> Just to answer some questions from previous videos, this is what I mean by the pole that's covered in a pad. And, uh, yeah. We should probably come at it from the other direction, but we come at it from this direction. So you guys can see, if you push on it in just the right way, bang. Yeah, fun times. But yeah, this is, there's goalposts, there's the entire field. Golf post down there. Six stadium lights and some really, really rickety uh, 
the grandstands. Thankfully, nobody comes to see them. All right. Wow, this camera is showing up much more light than I thought. I, uh, I'll show you guys why I had to end off a little early. So, we have this guy's here. We're doing pole work here. <laughs> That's Kevin. This is the drill we're doing. Basically, we're doing the get skinny drill around the pole. So we're working with actual like inside linemen, not the. But yeah, that's the pole. We decided to go the other side. So you see the get skinny there, and then we swim over it. We got running backs there. But yeah, we're almost done here. And this is the drill. Yeah, that's fun. I actually liked it. I wish I could keep doing it, but you'll see why. All right. I'm gonna help clean up the field by pulling in one of these. I brought three of them out last time. So, as it's probably regular, I, I, by the way, guys, it's 10.05. Like, the camera has good low light, but, <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at that sky. Like, Aaron would be a little leery about walking right now, but it's starting to push his limit. <laughs> So what happens when you live this far north, fuckers? Oh, that's mud. <laughs> Not necessarily saying that my cleats were very good when I walked through that little, there's a mud pit back there. The problem with it being dark right now is it's having trouble finding my face. <laughs> so it's, everything's blurry. Oh, ich will in There you go. <laughs> in that big black hole, I'll show you. Weet je, dat, dat, dat is een vraag die ik aan mezelf zou stellen. Is dit wat ik wil? Ga ik niet meer? Je kunt niet durven. Ja, en het ding is wel, het grootste ding is voor mij dat ik wil dat mijn passen kan staan met dat bureau. As a sneakerhead, you're gonna cry at this. I've seen worse. See what happened there? Yeah. If it happened to my shoes, that would be fucked. <laughs> I, blew my, I blew my cleats out. <laughs> That's why I had to end early. I'm just gonna put you right the fuck there for now. So Ronald, you're like, you work like spitting distance from that Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, the new uh, Dunkin'. I don't know if it's new or not, but like, he's just yeah, trying it's pretty to new. He's just trying to talk to you about bringing donuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's literally an Irish pub everywhere in yeah, this city. <laughs> in that city. Yeah. Like, I've got, I don't know, I have a pub where I used to live at Oastport. <laughs> And I'm like, I always go back there because like there's nothing on Zebra and Nylon yet. <laughs> They're still oh, building yeah. everything there. <laughs> like the skate park's nice, but it's always fun watching the kids, you know, fall down. fall down, watch one of the quarter pipes, watch the skateboard go up and with no kid. And I'm like, where's the kid? Where's the kid? Who died? Nice. Hey, it's a frog. <laughs> What's up with you? I'm just gonna let him go. Yeah. Nate, let nature be nature. You going to the bus or you got a car? A car. Okay. I'm heading to the bus. <laughs> I gotta get stuff vlogged about practice before I get stupid. <laughs> Not nice. <laughs> Have a nice evening. I'll see you Sunday. Yes, see you Sunday. Bye. All right, there's a frog in the parking lot. I'm gonna get stupid here in a second and I broke my cleats. <laughs> hmm. They're effectively broken, I wonder. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I could. Huh. I mean... Mm, 
what are you doing, Theo? What are you doing? Anyways, so we basically did our cardio workout stuff. Um, and I was a little bit better, but again, like, you have an up day, you have a down day, you have a down day, you have an up day. Who knows? Sunday will be an up day. Thursday will be an up day. Because now that the gym's open and my cardio's happening, I'm working on it more. And who knows? 2021 is the repair year. Everyone wants to call it the great reset or something. And I'm just like, get over yourselves. Get over yourselves. What am I gonna title the vlog? Catastrophic failure? Where's the thumbnail gonna be? That's great. Anyways, <laughs> I, but it's just like, it was one of those things of like, it was so, like five minutes before I was talking about getting new cleats and how it'd be nice. And like, I was looking and I saw a mess had new cleats and he's a sneaker head. And he, I'm like, where'd you get those new cleats? Oh, I got them from Nike. Oh, okay. How much you pay for them? Way too much. When'd you get them? Well, a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> And so, uh, if those happen to mine, like you guys heard him. <laughs> but it's sort of like when you get a fender bender, you just gotta show off to your car guys, and they're like, oh! <laughs> Everybody has their thing. But anyways, but yeah, everything was good today. Uh, had a little, again, I was a little winded for some things. The tires were a little bit better today. My arm did not freak out. That's fun, this one. Um, who knows, I have to get more magnesium. The, the sled, although the sled, <laughs> I'll tell you this guys, the sled. I, I had, like, it was stupid. I was doing super good on the sled. I was pushing it, I had great form. I wasn't hurting my lower back, I did like, you know, we did our rounds, we were doing our thing, we are pushing, we did, we pushed the whole sled in a, in a circuit, in a 360 thing. That was great. And then all of a sudden, my foot slides out from underneath me and I feel super cold mud. <laughs> good times. Oh, good times. But yeah, it's like rapidly, rapidly declining in light levels. I'm currently utilizing my favorite lights. But yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be, tomorrow my legs are gonna be feeling a little weird and we're gonna have to go to Decathlon. <laughs> if I can't find any cleats, it'll, okay, I, hmm, I could. I gotta get trash cleats though. I want to save my blue cleats. I don't wanna beat the crap out of those. <laughs> I don't want to beat the crap out of those for the next, you know, nine months at practices because they're my only cleats. My black ones are broken too. <laughs> so I'm going to save the blue ones. I'm going to find some trash cleats at Decathlon um, as best I can before Sunday. If I can't and I have to order away for them, I will use the blue ones. They're in good condition. I only used them like five games and a couple practices, but yeah. No, oh, I didn't even use them in Rotterdam because that was white. Anyways, it's dark. I'm gonna get up to the uh, bus stop. Uh, I don't know what time it is. I uh, will catch you guys later.